will make it okay sense. so the way i look at it yeah is a couple of things right so first of all what you could do is you could start off kind of like a training academy oh, okay right so working with your own clients and just putting on sessions for them mm -hmm. And then once you have a client base, yeah. from there, you can then introduce the tournament aspect. Okay. Okay. Now, the reason is because once you, once you have, you know, parents that are paying you, players that start to know you, like you, trust you, yeah. it's a lot easier for them to then bring friends along. Hmm. Okay. Because they know, you know, they know who you are, uh, yeah. you've got a name. Mm -hmm. um, so that is one way you could start it. Okay. Another way you could do it is you could run like a free tournament. Exactly. So what you could do is you could do like a, a small free tournament to begin with. Obviously, mm -hmm. it's going to give you experience. Yeah. Um, and maybe do it in a way where it's manageable for you. Yeah. Um, the reason why I said to do like a group training to begin with is because yeah. obviously if you run a tournament, yeah. that is going to consist of money. So you are going to need yeah. to you know, buy yeah. equipment, buy the goals, buy the banners and all of that. So if yeah. you have a group that you're working with, that can start to like fund your future project, which is going to okay. be your tournament. Yeah. Um, so, however, if you've got the funding already, you've got the investment, then you could start off with a mini, a mini tournament. It could be like 10 players or five players, however you want to do it. And then you start to build from there. Okay. Um, I would do then is the first step would be just make sure having a set day, set time for that you're going to do the tournament. Right. All right, because that's obviously going to be important for marketing. Yeah. Right, so set day, set time. Make sure you've got a venue or facility locked in for it. Right. And um, wherever you're going to run that. Okay. Yeah. And then the third bit is obviously it's kind of pricing and marketing. So pricing in the sense that is it going to be free? Is there going to be a fee? Okay. Mm -hmm. And then the marketing, what's the strategy behind it? So yeah. I think maybe offering it to obviously clubs or teams is quite yeah. a good option. Like local teams, right. Yeah. Local teams, local clubs. Uh, something that is really good in the US could be running like a rec league, a rec tournament okay. for rec players. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Um, just because like club, it, it can be done as well, okay? Yeah. But obviously, club, they're probably so busy with yeah. their own teams, their training sessions. Yeah, they got sessions. their own stuff going on. Yeah, it might a be A lot tough. of stuff going on. Whereas right. rec players... Yeah. Okay. Like a pickup. Yeah. yeah, like... It, it, yeah, it's like a so pickup. Yeah, and also, rec players, it's... They kind of need it more. Yeah. Mm. So... But that's obviously for you to decide what type of players you want to obviously uh, have... But remember, I remember in the US, like rec, rec is huge. Like clubs have their own rec program. So yeah. you could even offer that to clubs yeah. to run for their rec side, the rec side of their team, of their club. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, that's the pretty much the three steps I would take. So set day, set time. What day and time do you want this tournament to be? Uh -huh. Um Lock in that facility to make sure you can run it. Do you need a permit where yeah. you're going to run it? Um, is it an indoor facility? Is it an outdoor? Making sure that's all set. And then just working out the pricing. Is it going to be for free? Is it going to be $5? Is it going to be $10 per head? Um, and then the marketing. So how, how are we going to get this out to our audience? Right. Okay. So... Yeah. As I said there, you could talk to coaches, you could offer it to teams, to clubs, um, yeah. YMCAs, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. so maybe other organizations yeah. that have access to, to kids. 
of right. the specific age group that you want to do these tournaments. Yeah. So there's a yeah, there's a lot that you can do. Right. Um, it's just a case of being very organized. Yeah, I think. And I would always encourage you to when you do your first one, always start small. Of course, yeah. Because that's where you can make the mistakes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because yeah. running a tournament is is big. <laughs> it's not, <laughs> yeah. it's, it's, it's not that. like running a training session. It's right. like there's a lot that goes in it. Um, yeah. you know, making sure if you need to get staff on the day, you have you get help. Uh, making sure the like I said the facility is locked in. Mm -hmm. Um, making sure that if there's any injuries, what's the what's the medical? Protocol? There's somebody uh, in there for as far as medical representing, just for like the physical therapy. You know, yeah. someone to yeah take care of them or yeah.